Hello there. Hello. Hello. What are you eating? Mince Why are we eating mince pies? Because that's the only thing we can. Because <laughs> it's bloody Christmas, Vincent. And today's vlog is a very Christmassy one. We've done a couple of Christmas vlogs so far, haven't we? But this one is a super Christmassy one. And it's purely because of the fact that we live in Shrewsbury. And in Shrewsbury, if you didn't know, in 1984, a film was released called A Christmas Carol, starring George C. Scott. <clears throat> a Christmas Carol 1984 was filmed in Shrewsbury. So today's vlog starts at the bottom of St. Mary's Water Lane. And we'll show you why in a minute. Yeah, starting off this uh, location tour is on this street here. And just around the corner, after this car is gone, is this scene where they're filming Tiny Tim on the steps. <laughs> so this is um, the building that was used for Scrooge's office. And you remember the scene where Tiny Tim comes up the hill and he's waiting for his dad on the steps? Right here. If we line it up, right, we'll be able to drop the picture on top of it. Right there. A little angle of the studio, well the shop. I call it a studio because as you may know, some of the people watching this, me and Cassie, the, the mother of the channel, uh, are tattoo artists and we used to have a tattoo studio in this building. And every year we'd have Christmas carol tours coming round at Christmas. Do you remember boys? Yeah. When they used to come round and uh, they'd be all standing outside. We'd invite them in sometimes but they never wanted to come in. And also, it's not actually uh, filmed inside, it's only the outer shots. One of the windows up there, Scrooge in the window. Just above the studio. Location number two, which is just around the corner from, um, well, just up the road from the uh, Scrooge's office, is... The Old Infirmary. The Old Infirmary, that's what it was called back uh, when it was filmed. It's now called the Parade Shops. And it's basically just an old, I think it used to be some sort of hospital. But this is the location for some of the big group photos and there's a lot of well, the group scenes, there's a lot of people um, outside and there were scenes of some kids ice skating and stuff. So I'm just going to walk over here and we'll try and get a lined up shot. Here's another shot of the parade shops or the old infirmary. This is basically it's got loads of little um, sort of independent businesses I think mainly inside the little cafe downstairs and stuff. It's a nice little building. But this, if I can get the picture, there's another cool shot of some of the film actually being filmed I think. You can see which is about there I believe. Step back a little bit actually. Right there. Alright, so that is location number two. It's really raining at the moment, isn't it, boys? <laughs> so we're getting a bit drenched. Um, it's, it's quite nice and warm today, though, compared to the last few days, isn't it, boys? But yeah, that's uh, the old infirmary or the parade shops, which is the scene of where you see a lot of the. Uh, people standing around outside of a building and they've got top hats on and massive sideburns. <laughs> so we're going to go and find location number two. Three. 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 <laughs> location number three is next to St. Alcorn's Church. It's a little known place called Bear Steps. It's quite a famous location in Shrewsbury because it's old. As you can see Shrewsbury is very old, hence the reason it was used in the film. Also been had uh, other films and shows filmed in Shrewsbury due to the uh, the look of the town. This looks dead old, doesn't it? So this is Bear Steps. Wait, I'm, I'm yeah. Uh, this is where the Harry Potter shop is. And it is, yeah. We have, yeah, we have a little Harry Potter shop just around the corner. So here is the liner, roughly, almost exactly, I hope, of Bear Steps location. 
quick little show on the phone, but I'll line it up now properly. There was a lot changed in this area for this shot, as you'll be able to see, because they've got the they covered up some of the uh, the old beams on the building to the left there, and the church at the bottom is not even there. They had a big painting, I presume, in the background that would have made it seem like there was a more of a cathedral type building there. So yeah, there's bare steps. It is a bit more of a close up of one of the buildings, which they also added to as well, as you can see there. You can actually see there in the background of this shot the actual church that's down the bottom. Whereas obviously in the film it wasn't in the the church wasn't in there. Now this is just down at the bottom of uh, bare steps. This is a, a little alleyway called. It looks like Diagon. I can't remember. Yeah, it looks very much like Diagon Alley. That's why we have a shop called the Lab Labyrinth, and it's a Harry Potter shop. What's I can't remember that? what this street's called for some reason. Slip mine, but it's a tiny little, tiny little path. Right, so net location four, yeah, is the Shrewsbury Town Square, and this is the old like market building, and this was the scene. He's walking through. Who? What? What? what, what do you remember what his name is? The big, big bloke, the ghost of Christmas. Christmas present. Uh, yeah. Christmas <laughs> present. It was a Christmas present, wasn't it? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. He's the big tall dude. Yeah. And in the mu in the Muppets, which personally uh, uh, is a is a tough choice between the two of them, he says, "Know me better, man." But he doesn't say that in the one that we're doing the locations for. But around about here, it's see if we can line it up again. Because I think you may remember when we did the photos. Yeah, if you've seen the photos, I'll leave a link of the. Yeah, you you were being the legs of yeah, them, we weren't you? Line up our legs. <laughs> No, it it's because you had like tiny legs. little pin legs, didn't you? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll leave this link in the description for the photos that I took uh, last year. Um, check that out, it's on the Shropshire Stars website. There's a little feature on me. But yeah, around about here, I think it is, if I can line it up right, is where Scrooge is walking through with the Ghost of Christmas present. Right there. Just in the square is the Shrewsbury Museum and Art Gallery. Which is a big old theatre building, I believe. I think maybe. Um, but yeah, this is another shot of that location. But this is um, the opening scene of the film with the credits. I'll show you the picture now. One well, of like the opening credits with the title is about here, but a lot higher up, as you can tell. <laughs> that drone I meant to get it. But yeah, this is here. Some more sh shots of the. Uh, Town Square. Yeah, there's actually apparently I've I look, I, I have looked for it once, but I kind of forgot I've forgotten about it until just this minute. There's actually a scene in that uh, 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 I think it's in the opening credits where you can see sorry, need to drop the camera where you can see um, TV aerials on top of the roof. Have you ever seen them, Vincent? Did I tell you about that? No. There's TV. You can see. <laughs> you can see the TV, TV aerials on top of the uh, the houses, well the buildings, and obviously in like the 1500s or whatever it is when the the film is set. I don't think they'd have TV aerials. They didn't manage to hide them. <laughs> Next location, which which number is this, Vincent? Is it the fifth one? Fourth or fifth? There's a man coming out of the house of the next location. So this is on Town Walls, which is a very old road, as you can tell. And this next location is. All right, see that building? Yeah. So the next location is Scrooge's nephew's house. I don't ask me what his name is. I can't remember. I may put it on the screen. Who knows? So this, is, uh, it's on this house on the corner here, as you can see. got a van in front of it which kind of ruins it a little bit. Hey hey. Hey, hey. No, we won't wait. Number well, if we walk along a little bit, we can still line it up. Number 25. <laughs> it's about there, I think. Yeah. So this is Yeah, very old building. It's actually I, I once again can't remember what the um the date of the film, uh, the film's base, or the original, well, I say the film, the original story by Charles Dickens, 1500, something like that. So this building is actually younger than that. It's maybe about 200 years old. It is, yeah. So, that's that one. Town Walls Road. It's not called Town Walls Road, it's called Town Walls. 
but I'm going to pop the road on there anyway, um, is this little street, which is Belmont. At the top of Belmont, when we get up here, no, it, well, yes, Scrooge's house, yeah. Um, so, next location, five, six, whichever one it is, it's going to be Scrooge's house. Yeah. Whose house is this? Scrooge. Scrooge's house, at the top of Belmont. The house next door to it, I can't see the date, but the house next door to it says it was established in 1680. This is Scrooge's house. Well, it's not actually Scrooge's Ebony. Ebony's are Scrooge's, yeah, but... This is... the house used in the film. Right, so there is Scrooge's house. Um, we're currently in the graveyard of this church. Uh, so I don't know which one this is. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to know which one it is. But this is another church. Shrewsbury's very well known for having a hell of a lot of churches. Vincent's going to go and check. But next up is my personal favourite location from the film. Just purely because of how permanent it was. And it's fake. <laughs> um, so. We'll take you over there, and then we'll hopefully have one more location after that. Our final location in town it is St. Chad's. Which is this mighty building in front of us. And we are going in to the graveyard. Yeah, uh, in the film, there's the scene where Scrooge is with the ghost of Christmas is to come. Christmas future, Christmas is to come, whatever it is. And during the filmmaking, they decided to use an actual graveyard, put an actual gravestone down. And it still lies here all these years later. I think it's right there. There it is, someone else is looking at it at the moment. Right, so here lies Ebenezer Scrooge. Made for the film. There's nobody under it. There's no one in there. It's just the stone. We kept it as like a momentum for the for the film. Well, in case the film becomes a worldwide success, success, which it did. I'm not standing on the grave, dude. I'm standing in front of it. <laughs> yeah. So there's the shot. The ghost of Christmas is to come shows him the grave of himself. There's another location directly next to it, and it's this building right here. I'll drop on the picture now so you can see exactly what this scene is. It's when we the way home, and right behind us is another one which we were standing on before we realized that we were standing on it. So I'll drop that on now as well. Down on this next location because the shot of this scene is from down here. So and we'll probably step in the screen with the footsteps of what they were doing in the film. It should be a bait. Yeah, that's it. It's perfect. There's no fences in this anymore, but I'm sure there was once upon a time, but this is in the old St. Charles yeah, it Church was, as well. Look, you can see there's holes in the wall right there. Yeah. Do you look yeah, good, good point actually, Vincent. That's the old, that's where the fence would have been. Yeah, you can go down, 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 all the way down. There used to be fences here. Yeah. So then it would block people from coming up. Yeah. One day, somebody probably got hurt. Maybe, yeah, you never know. Spiky fences. So there you go, there's uh, another two extras that we didn't think we would get today, even though we were standing literally on them. Yeah. About half an hour ago. <laughs> 
square from a different angle with the music hall and all that stuff. Because there's another location that we've just managed to work out exactly where it is, haven't we, dudes? Uh -huh. So we'll show you that now. And then Gullet Passage, which is a very historical little uh, pathway between some of the buildings going up towards the square. And a fairly famous, well known hole in the wall pub. So, this is the scene of when Scrooge is pushing by the, by the carol singers and he says, oh, humbug. <laughs> This is Gullet Passage, and the scene where Scrooge is pushing past all the carol singers on his way to work, I think. There it is. Bah, humbug. <laughs> So that concludes our tour of the Christmas Carol mm -hmm. filming locations here in Shrewsbury. Um, we own a studio up here, don't we, dude? Uh, mommy, well, Mummy and Daddy's Total Studios up here. Um, and just recently, the BBC were here at the top of the road up there, which is St John's Hill, just off Cross Hill, and they were filming Great Expectations, which is another Charles Dickens story. Um, so Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury apparently is basically the home of Charles Dickens' so it's stories. Both yeah, both of our shops that we've had have been sort of involved. I mean, admittedly, our studio wasn't in the show, was it? It's not going to be in the show because where they were filming it from, they put a huge blue screen here. Yeah. If I can find a photo of them filming it, I'll pop it on now. But it was being filmed just down there. So yeah, that's the end of our tour. In case you've been wondering, Mummy's not here today, is she? Yes. Because she's at work in there. Yeah. Um, so we've done this tour on our own. Have you enjoyed doing it? Yeah. Again, because we did it a while ago, didn't we? We just the pictures. So um, we're now done with that. We're going to leave it there. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this. Peace Hope out. it's been informative. Um, we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace Whatever out. it is. Goodbye. Bye.